Shalom Israel. I want to start off, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who teach and rule well at Great Millstone, and peace and salutations and peace and mercy to the prophets, the hopeful elect, 144,000, and to the men and women of the 12 lost tribes of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Shalom. Back with another lesson. Um, I'll probably title this one J Judgment at the House of Israel, or Judgment uh, Begins at the House of uh, Israel. You know, judgment is being sent forth, starting with the Lord's people. And who are his people? Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. I mean, judgment is going forth. You turn on the news and it's just, I see nothing but Jake. It's nothing but Jake. They're either going to prison or they didn't kill somebody, you know. Women and children getting killed. That's Jake. And in the inner cities, you know, out there and different places across the country, across Babylon, America, it's Jake. And then also, you know, you have a lot of Jakes that you know, they, 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 they're finding out that they're Israel. But they don't have the truth. And they're just going on to anything that they can, you know. They're not, they're not, uh, uh, um, they're not studying. They're just going along to get along. And then Jake wants to try to, uh, you know, bring everybody together and build here in Babylon. This is not our place. This is the land of our captivity. This is not the place for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. This is not your rest. This is not your, your, your home, your land. This isn't. This is this is this is Esau. This is his kingdom over here in Babylon. What she, what what you so called uh, 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 whites, so called Caucasians, Esau, Edom. You know this is you guys uh, uh, stole this land from from the northern tribe, the northern tribes, but. In reality, the, the, the tribe's land is over there in Israel. You try to tell, you know, uh, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians about this, and you reject it. You reject it. And then you got some that believe it. You know, but they they're not they're not, you know, uh, uh, rehearsing the righteous acts. They're not they're not, you know, uh, seeking for the truth. So the Lord is drawing, uh, you know, he's drawing a fine line right now. He's separating the, his elect. But judgment must start at the be at the house of Israel, and he's judging Jake right now, heavy. And as we as we go into further into judgment into uh, uh, Jacob's trouble, that you know the the judgment is going to be is going to be seen. He's not hiding nothing. It's going to be blatantly seen, purposely seen. 
But I'm going to go hop right into the scripture and I'm going to start at 1 Peter 4 and 17. And it reads, for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? You know, you know, he's chastising and, 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 you know, the ones that are, that are, that are seeking him diligently and that are his, his hopeful elect and chastising them and putting them through different tests and stuff, you know, and, and preparing them. But those that are not, uh, you know, uh, obeying not the gospel your judgment is going to be horrible. Horrible. And I'm going to go over to, um, we're going to go over to Numbers. We're going to go over to Numbers. We're going to go to Numbers 16. And this is when uh, Moses, you know, uh, in Israel, when they came out of Egypt, due to time consume, I'm just going to, I'm, you know, but in chapter 16, you can go through and you can read and it'll tell you about, you know, when they came out of Egypt and Yahweh Bashimah was shy, you know, came down and he, he visited Moses and talked to him. You know, one of the only ones to see him face to face like that. But, you know, you had Dathan and, um, what's it, and uh, Abram, if I'm saying it right, uh, you know, and other parts of Israel, you know, that were in the wilderness and they rebelled. They rebelled. And that's the same thing that's happening right now. Yahweh by Shemal Shai is preparing to, 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 to save uh, the elect out of this place. But he's drawing a fine line right now. And you, you're gonna have to, you have to make a choice on what do, on who do you believe in? Because there's the, 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 there's many different, you know, there's camps and different pastors and preachers and stuff. And you gotta, you're gonna have to use your discernment and, and to figure out. You know, what side are you on to figure out who got the truth? And starting with the, you know, the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, you know, on down to the to the uh, uh, prophets, you know, that's the house of David. They have the 110 percent truth. You know, through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You have a lot of other different camps and other different uh, pastors and, you know, uh, Christianity and Islam and all this other crazy stuff. That's not that's not that's not Israel. That's not the tabernacles of David, the house of David. That's not. Yeah. You know, yeah. How about Shai? That's that's not that's not it. But you're going to have to make a choice or you going you will be thrust through. What he saw over, you will die on this side. So we're gonna go to um, due to time consume. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and read and get to the point. We'll go to uh, 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 Numbers 16, and we'll start at We'll start at we'll start at ten. Salakia, we'll, we'll we'll start at eleven. Eleven. Sixteen eleven numbers. Um and it reads, For which cause both thou all thy company 
all gathered together against Yahweh by Shem Shai. And what is Aaron, what ye murmur against him? And Moses, 12, and Moses sent to call Dathan and, Ab and um, Abiram, the sons of Elib, which said, we will not come up. So they called for, for uh, you know, Moses trying to call up, you know, to congregate with, with Israel, with everybody in, in Dathan and uh, Abram. They said they're not coming. You know, they're rebelling. You know, and so 13. It is a small thing that thou has brought us up out of the land that followeth with milk and honey to kill us. That's what they're telling Moses, Dathan. You know, that, that that's where his mind is. In the wilderness, except thou make thyself altogether a prince over us. So, you know, that's what they think, you know, that Moses is trying to, you know, and did all this, brought Israel out of Egypt to, to rule over them, to be, you know, uh, you know, to be some type of wicked uh, prince or king or, you know, and this is, and this is, you know, there's only, there's only one truth. There's only one doctrine, one truth out there. There's no other, there's no two or three. There's one Word and that's the that's the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's it. There's nothing else. It's His word. Nothing else. There's no other gods. No no other. You know uh, 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 none of that. It's Yahweh and Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We 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 serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and the Father, but the mediator we have to go through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. There's one word. That's it. Fourteen. Moreover, thou hast not brought us into the a land that floweth with milk and honey, or given us inheritance of fields and vineyards, with thou put out the eyes of these men. We will not come up and see, you know, and that's the thing right now, too, is, you know, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is purging out all the, the rebels right now. He's, he's purging it out. He's setting it up like that to where, you know, all these different, you know, uh, doctrines and stuff and who, who's going to clean on the who. He's purging out all the rebels right now. Before he comes back and delivers the elect. The truth, the truth, the truth is will be revealed. We're going to find out who got the truth. You know, and he's telling you right here, the Lord is not a man of reputation. You know, he's a, he's austere, you know, all this extra, you know, rapping and, selling merchandise and all that other extra stuff and, you know, getting money from the people, you know, that's not what the Lord was doing. He was going around and doing the will of Yahweh, you know, preaching the, the gospel. He didn't want no fame and nothing, nothing else with all these women and dressing up, looking all fancy. He wasn't all on, he wasn't on that, you know, he preaching this word. But he, but Yahweh Hashem Shai is purging out all the rebels, all of them, men and women. There's one gospel, and that's the, the gospel of Yahweh Hashem Shai. You're either in the house of David or you're in the house of Saul. Call Halal Yahweh Hashem Shai. Fifteen. And Moses was very wroth and said unto Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, Respect not their offering. I have not taken one ass from them, neither have I hurt one of them. 
16. And Moses said to Korah, be thou and all thy company before Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, thou and they and Aaron tomorrow. 17. Take every man his censer and put incense in them and bring ye before Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Every man his censer, 250 censer, thou also and Aaron each of you his censer. 18. And they took every man his censer and put fire in them and laid incense thereon and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the congregation with Moses and Aaron. 19. And Korah gathered all the congregation against them unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai appeared unto, the, unto all the congregation. You see that? 20. And Yahweh Bashem Yahushai spoke unto Moses and to Aaron saying, separate yourselves. You see that? There's a separation coming. Separate yourselves from among this congregation that I may consume them in a moment. You see that? And that's what's going to happen. There's, a, there's just mass death coming. Judgment. The separation. We're going to hop over. So Moses and them, uh, you know, they, you know, is they separated themselves. And it goes on. We'll hop down to 25 and it reads, and Moses rose up and went unto Dathan and uh, Abiram and the elders of Israel followed him. 26, and he spake unto the congregation saying, depart, I pray you from the tents of these wicked men and touch nothing of their lest ye be consumed in all their sins. You see that? So, Dathan and uh, Abram, you know, they, they, you know, they're causing confusion and rebelling. And Moses told them, you know, Israel, do you want to stay with them? You will be consumed. You have to make a choice. You have to make a choice. And this is the time that we're, that we're into right now. And this is why it's like that with all these different philosophies and you know, different uh, 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 doctrines and stuff like that. You know, the separation is being, is, is, is here. Twenty, twenty-seven. They got up from the tabernacle of Korah and Dathan and Abiram and on every side. And Dathan and Abiram came out and stood in the door of their tents and their wives, and their sons, and, the, and, the, and their little children. 28, and Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that Yahweh by Shem Yahushai has sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of mine own mind. 29, if these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then Yahweh Hashem Yahushai have not sent me. Thirty, but if thou, but if Yahweh Hashem Yahushai make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up, with all the uh, appertain unto them, Salakia, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. He's telling the congregation this. 31, and it came to pass as he made an end of speaking all these words that the ground called clave asunder that was under them. 32, this is the point. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up and their houses and all the men that appertain unto Korah and all their, all their goods.
33. They and all they and all that appertained to them went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed uh, closed upon them, and they perished from uh, among the congregation. Call Allah Yahweh by Shemiyahu Shai. You know, and this is this is what it is. It, 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 you know, uh, mass death, and that's what we're. That's what um, you know the elect. And, 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 and you know that's going that's that we're gonna see going forward. Mass death, because those that rejected the true word of the Lord and didn't want to come back and and uh, 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 um, you know and got deceived into all these different doctrines and ways, you know, and not according to what Yahweh Bashem Shai said. So they're going to be faced with judge, judgment and consumed. So the Lord is drawing that line right now. There's a lot of rebellion and different doctrines and, you know, uh, 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 Israel being proud and very disrespectful. Their behavior. So you have to make a choice on which way you're going to go, on who got the truth. Call hello, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But the spirit hopped on me. Um, uh, Lord willing, you are edified. I don't want to write this out, come back with another lesson. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Rakah Kodash, Shalom Israel.